Deluna Fest is a celebration of America's original beach party. Deluna Fest is unique because it sits right on the beach sands and four stages of music from all over the world featuring Pearl Jam, Foo Fighters, Zac Brown Band, and 65 other awesome acts. We expect to have 25,000 to 30,000 people here. We've got everything from Zac Brown to Pearl Jam. And with that, you have to have a sound system that's capable of producing everything from a subtle nuance to heavy hitting rock and roll. And on top of that, you have to be able to produce that level of sound over a wide range. This beach is 600 feet deep. And to be able to do that, you have to have quite a bit of horsepower. Now, Leo's our new large scale sound reinforcement system. It's a system as far as it has a mid-high component, which is the Leo M. It has our new low frequency control element, which is the 1100 LFC. It's also taking advantage of a brand new processor, which is the Callisto processor from Myra Sound, which has some very cool tools in it that help people sculpt frequency responses and get their desired curve that they want very easily and very quickly. The system this year for Deluna Fest is 16 Leo M per side. Underneath those 16 Leo are two Mica as downfill boxes. We have 12 1100 LFCs per side. We have four MICAs as front fills, and we have eight MSL4s as outfills. The system is being driven with four Callistos, and in front of that is two Galileo 616s that are covering the basically management of the entire system. With technology as it goes, allows us more power, it allows us better transducers, better materials, and John Meyer's goal, and Meyer Sound's goal, has always been to provide linear systems for large-scale events, small-scale events, it's very hard to do this in large-scale stuff. This is a lot of power. This system gives us the headroom and the power and the control to have the system be able to provide whatever sort of curve we want. Having a linear system doesn't mean a flat frequency response. The idea of what you do before the signal gets into the system or arrives to the speakers, that's a artistic a style, an effect that they want. They do that. What we want when it goes into the system is to produce that linearly, meaning at low levels or high levels, it just sounds the same, except it's louder when you turn it up. It doesn't change. A successful festival or a successful show, especially coming from a touring engineering background, is that the guys walk away smiling, they're not asking for a lot of stuff, they're not fighting their mix, they can just get on the console and do their show. Most of these guys are showing up with show files, if they can throw it in, load it up, and the band hits the deck, no sound check, and it sounds like a million bucks, and they're happy, at the end of the day, that's all we can ask for. Pearl Jam just got finished, put on an incredible show. I'm thinking there's probably about 25,000 people here. It was packed from front to back. The Leo did exactly what it's supposed to do. It didn't matter where you went, it was in your face. It was just amazing when Eddie Vedder's vocals would come across the Leo and people would just raise their hands and sing along with him. It was just so clear. The fidelity of the system is just incredible. And it's really, really impressed with what the Leo is doing. I have such a strong appreciation for what the work Meyer has done that I pretty much tell the bands that this is what you're going to have. And of course this year for the first time I had to deal with some major acts that tend to have the power to say, you know, that's not going to work. And when I ran it by them, the first time they were a little hesitant about a new box that they never heard of. And then I believe one of them mixed on the system at Outside Lands and immediately emailed me that following day and said, I want that. And so I obviously said, I told you so. Meyer is always on riders. Um, the Meyer Milo has been a staple for riders since its inception. And now I strongly anticipate Leo being the top of the rider list for everybody.